Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I am going to be showing you a very, very simple outfit merge method. Now, this is based on the Christmas mask outfit transfer glitch. Now, I know a lot of you don't like this method. And to be honest, it is a bit rubbish. But it is very, very simple. If you own a Christmas mask on one of your characters that the other character doesn't own then you are able to do an outfit transfer without losing any outfits. Now, there is a bit of a disclaimer with this one. Sometimes you will lose joggers on your male character. Now, if you've got green, purple, or orange joggers, you will probably lose them on your male character. So I just want to put that out there as a bit of a pre-warning. But... If you're not bothered, it doesn't matter. If you're making outfits for your female character, hopefully it should be all right on your male character. So, you know, there is a bit of a warning there just in case so that you can't say, oh, I tried this and it deleted my joggers. I'm just putting the warning out there. It's up to you whether you want to try it. Anyway, what we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to be creating an outfit on my female character and that's because I have Christmas masks on my male character that I don't have on my female character so I'm going to be creating a very simple outfit on my female character so what we're going to do is we're going to spawn in to GTA Online and as you can see I've spawned in as my female character so you need to be on the character that you're creating the outfits for first because what we're going to do is we're going to set up the components that we are going to merge onto another outfit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to the clothing store and in this video we are going to be making the outfit that's in the thumbnail. So the green Tron bits with the green joggers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head straight to the front desk and I'm going to purchase the green Tron suit. Because these are the components that, well, sorry, I say components. These are the parts of the outfit that there are no components for. So there isn't components for these Tron tops and Tron shoes on the female character. So we're going to purchase the green deadline suit. And all we're going to do is we are going to save this into an outfit slot. So it needs to be in your last outfit slot or your first outfit slot. But... Yeah, just do it in your last outfit slot, just call it something like Merge, just so that you know where you are with the glitch. So, I've called it Deadline, well, DL. It doesn't matter what you call it, it's irrelevant, but make sure it's saved in the last slot. So, once you've got that outfit saved, what you're going to do is you're going to switch over to your male character. Now, if you're making outfits for your male, then you would, at this point, switch over to your female character. But because I'm making a female outfit, I am going to switch over to my male character. Now, when you spawn in as your male character, you now need to set up the components that we're going to transfer over to the female character. So, same again, we're going to head over to a clothing store, and we're going to purchase all the items that we need to transfer over. So, as always, these are listed on XTiffy's website. There will be a link to that in the description. But... What I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a really simple outfit. So first of all, we are going to need some shorts. Now these are going to turn into the green joggers. The, well, it's the white boxer shorts that's going to turn into the green joggers. So we're going to put the white boxer shorts on. Now don't worry about the IAA badge. That's irrelevant. It won't transfer over. So don't try and transfer it. It won't work. So for the top, we need a merge top because we want to merge the Tron top, the deadline top, from our outfit that we set up on the female. So what we need to put on is this camo smuggler tank because this is the merge top for the female. So as I said, all these items are listed on XTiffy's website, so make sure to go and check that out. But I'm going to put this top on because we're going to merge the deadline top onto this. So, so far we've got the green box, well, sorry, the white boxes which are going to turn into green joggers and we've got the merge top on which is going to merge the Tron top on and next we're just going to stick the plain high tops on, sorry, the pink high tops. We're just going to stick the pink high tops on because they are the merge shoes because we want the Tron shoes and then finally we're just going to stick on the light woodland tactical gloves because they are also the merge gloves. So, once you've got your outfit built up on your male character 
you, you don't even need to save it on your male character. You just need to be wearing it. And what you're going to do is you're just going to stick on a Christmas mask from your interaction menu. Now, as I said, this needs to be a Christmas mask that you don't own on your other character. So I don't own the Krampus masks on my female, so I'm going to stick this Krampus mask on. Now, once you've got this outfit all set up like this, you've got your Christmas mask on, we've got merged shoes, we've got merged gloves, we've got the merged top, and we've got the green joggers. What we're going to do is we're going to head to the time trial location. Now, this could be anywhere on the map. It changes every Thursday, so just be warned about that. It does change every Thursday. But once you find the time trial location, you're just going to head over there, and you're just going to hit right D-pad to start it up. Now, once you've started it up, you're just going to hit pause, go across to online, and go to swap character. All you're going to do at this point now is you're just going to switch back over to your female character. And when you spawn in, you'll notice you are wearing the green joggers as you wanted, but you'll be wearing some really strange clothes in the other sections. Don't worry about it. You're just going to go pause, online, play a job, versus mode, and you're going to go down to crooked cop. Now, you might need a friend to help you with this. You might not. Usually, I can do it with random people because you're in a public session. It seems to find random people quite quickly. But all you're going to do when you're in this crooked cop job is you're going to make sure that the clothing is set to player owned. If you don't set it to player owned, you won't be able to merge the clothing together. So what I usually do is just do an auto invite invite all from current session, invite all skill match players, and eventually somebody will join. So once somebody joins you, like I say, you need to make sure the clothing is set to player owned. Then you're going to start up the job. So once you start up the job, you'll go onto the outfit selection screen. Now this is the point where you need to scroll to your last slot. So you'll go into the mission now with the clothes on that you showed when you first spawned in as your female character. So all you need to do is you need to hit go down to outfit, hit once to the left, that'll be your deadline outfit, hit once to the right again and it'll merge the deadline top, the deadline gloves and the deadline shoes onto the joggers as we wanted. So that is how you do that. Then once you've uh, done that you just need to ready up and once you spawn in the job it's very simple. You just need to bring up your interaction menu and put on any accessory. Now what I usually do is I put on an earpiece because helmets and stuff like that can affect some stuff that you've transferred over. So as you can see there, I'm going to put on the LCD earpiece, bring up your phone, press on the job list, press X to cancel the job, and you're just going to exit the job. Now what's going to happen is you're going to spawn back into a normal GTA online session, and you will be wearing your newly merged outfit. So once you spawn in, all you need to do, quite simply, just find the nearest gun store or clothing store and we're going to go and save this outfit. And that is it guys, that's the glitch complete. Once this outfit is saved, you will not lose it or anything like that. It will be saved exactly as you want it like this. So that's it for this video guys. Really, really simple transfer glitch. It, you can do so much stuff with this. For example, you could even double merge, triple merge. If you save this outfit now into the last slot over the top of the deadline slot, you could then go back as your male character and merge this full outfit onto something else. You, you can do so much with this. It is a brilliant, brilliant glitch. And it is very, very simple as well. The only thing is that you need to have the Christmas masks, which I know some of you guys don't. It's a shame, I know, but... For you guys that do have the Christmas masks, who did take advantage of the gender swap glitch when we had that as well, fair play guys, the, you have now got a very, very simple transfer glitch that you can do. This glitch has been out for ages, but uh, I only just got around to making a video on it. As you know, I've not been doing outfits on YouTube for a long, long time. Uh, I thought I'd just stick this video out there just so that you guys can see how easy it is to do this glitch. I will be coming back with some more in-depth outfits, a lot better outfits as well, using some of the new components and stuff soon enough. So stick around, subscribe to the channel if you've not done already. And that's it from me today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.